Hey, okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I am running you through the setup of my Client Tools Tradesman Pro Backpack, part number 5542-1BP-14. So at the moment, I haven't been able to utilize this out in the field yet. I've only just transferred all my other tools over from my other bags, which I've done um, a couple of reviews on, so make sure to check those out. But I thought I would show you how I've set this up and what's inside. All right, so for the bag, I've already done an unboxing and a preview of what's inside, all the pockets and all that sort of stuff. So if you haven't checked out that video, definitely go back and have a look at that. And what we will do is start with this pocket. So what we have in here is just a few bits and pieces. You've got the Unilite SLR 1750. That's also a battery backup. It uh, has a USB. So if you haven't looked at any of the Unilite gear, definitely look at that. But we've also got the RCD tester, a couple of gloves, and just a headlamp. So you can actually fit quite a fair bit stuff of stuff in here, which is great. And obviously you guys will know probably by now, if you've seen my other videos, I've fully packed my bags. Um, I've got a lot of stuff to take with me. All right, so if we have a look at this top pocket, as you can see, it's a hard cover, really nice, opens up. So at the moment, I've just got a few hole saws and a couple of drill bits. <coughs> as you can see, a couple of auger bits, couple of spade bits. I'll probably be putting some more drill bits in there. Um, but that's good for all your sharp bits. It also protects it. So on the side here, I've got quite a few bits and pieces. I figured I would throw, that's the 14 in one screwdriver bit from Klein. I figured I'd put that on the side. Fits in there nice and easy, nice and snug. And I've also got their smaller one. That's really nice. I think that's what four in one. Nice little screwdriver. Also just got a Nikko and another Unilite. This one is the SLR, uh, sorry, this is the IL175R. That one's always handy. So that's always, that's either in my pocket or in um, any of my side cases like that. Then all my other drill bits and pieces like that. I've done a post on that, check that out. And uh, just tape. And if we look up here, so I've just thrown my magnet up on top there. I don't like having that around other drill bits and pieces like those, just because everything gets stuck to it. And if we turn this around, I've then thrown the Klein Tools nine meter tape measure on the side there. At the moment, it feels pretty solid, so I'm pretty happy with that. We will see how it goes in the future, but that feels really good. All right, so now we'll go to opening the main pocket up. As you can see, it comes down the side there, which is really nice. I do actually like that feature and basically folds out like that. We'll spin it around. There you go. Sits there fairly nicely. Um, I have found that if you zip that all the way, that might be for everyone, not really sure. So it's opened up all the way. Or you can keep all of that so it will sit up nicely. All right, so as you can see, you can definitely fit a lot of tools in here. <clears throat> Most of these tools were from my Tech XL from Vito. Um, the only difference is I don't have my drills and I also don't have my drill bits. Uh, these were all in there. But basically everything else can fit in here. I have utilized these uh, stretchy holders. I actually do like them. As you can see, you can utilize them really well and it holds it all in place. So it's just a couple of extra pockets, same thing for there. And uh, we've got the same up the back here. So it might be hard to see with all the tools in there, but as you can see, I've got, like that one slips in there, fits in there nicely. You've got them all the way along the back there. It's so one thing I really do like is these little pockets here with the Velcro cover. So just in here, this pocket, I'm just throwing a couple of fit off tools for jacks. As you can see, with all the weight in it, 
it doesn't like to stay up. So that's probably the one little problem. It's not a major one. Like, don't forget this is fully loaded. I've seen other guys pack these out and it's not as much as what I've put in. So just keep that in mind. So that's there. As you can see, I've got my tester in there. Even the brother labeler, that is a perfect fit. So not too bad. A lot of pocket space. I think there's 39 pockets all up. All of these fit in there nicely. So quite happy with that side. If we swap it around. Fully go through this. So you've got a couple more pockets down here for other drill bits, screwdrivers, anything like that. So you can put whatever. I've just got an extension bit there. Um, as you can see, it's fully packed. It's got um, spanners. Uh, you've got pliers at the back there. More of the stretchy pockets, which is good. So that's a 300 extension there. So that fits in there quite easily. So then with it fully opened up, you can get into the middle part here and it's actually quite good. Um, you could probably even, we might even try it, hey? You could probably, maybe not, it might be a bit too. Probably just get the drill in there. So there you go, you can, you can actually get a drill in there, but at the moment, I've just got an F set that fits in there. Just my bag of AV gear and um, some little bits and pieces. So you can fit more in there. It doesn't look like it would close, but it does close quite easily, even fully packed. So. See you've got the middle strap there so that is quite heavy but obviously uh, that's how i like it i like to have my bags fully fully packed it does feel like it sits a little bit low i don't know if you can sort of see that, Move this out of the way. so it does sit a little bit low i feel but um that's just something to get used to um, it's not too bad for a backpack that's fully um, loaded out the middle strap is definitely good um, no real complaints but I'll definitely see how it feels out in the field, um, walking to and from site. That'll be the main thing. So that's basically it for the run through of the Tradesman Pro backpack from Klein Tools. If you made it this far, make sure to hit the notification bell, subscribe and like. Um, it helps me out a heap. And also leave any comments that you have, um, any questions that you have about the bags or um, anything at all really. I'm always up for any questions that you guys have. So that's it guys. Cheers.